Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Color Club, Easy Breezy, and Heat Wave. And I'm going to use some vinyls. I started off with Neltique's Formula 2 as my base coat. And here is the Color Club Moon changing, Mood Changing Polish called Easy Breezy. What a tongue twister. For these polishes, for me, it's easier to cap my ends before I paint my nail. Um, that way it doesn't end up thick on the end of my nail and look all wonky. So, you know... I rarely do this, but there are some instances where I do it. And here I go. I'm going to apply one, that's right, people, one coat of Easy Breezy. This is a one coat polish. I don't know about all of them in the collection, but this one definitely was a one coater for me. And there it is. I'm going to top this off with Posh Top Coat so we can get ready for the vinyls. These are some Twinkle Tea nail vinyls, and I'm gonna be using these little spirals over here. I'm gonna use one of my handy little, like, digging nail tools <laughs> to, to get it started, to get it off that backing. And these are quite tricky. Um, I'm gonna let you see me struggle with this one a little bit. This one wasn't too bad. End up holding it with my little tweezers. Try to get a good grip on things, and I'm sorry I'm out of frame. I seem to be having issues again. And you can see that mood polish is two different colors. It has changed due to the temperature of my body and the temperature of the room. I'm going to place that on there and mush it down with my finger. Try to make it all nice and smooth. And here we go. And I'm just going to use my tweezers to grab up the next one. And I'm not going to show you the painfulness of me fighting with this one. I'm, I'm going to do a lot of that off camera. We're going to cut some of this out. Finally got it on my finger. Don't even want to tell you how long it took. Here is Color Club's Heat Wave. And this is going to be my accent polish for my accent nails. And I haven't had trouble with the vinyl so much, but this is a really intricate pattern. A lot of twists and turns to it, and it just, it was a nightmare for me. But I wanted it. I wanted that look. And so I persevered and kept on going. And I figured these would work really good for this since they are thick polishes. And I am just putting down one nice layer over the top of that vinyl. And now for the fun part. We're going to snatch out our tweezers and pull this up. Yay! How cool! What a cool design. And I did have a little bit of bleed through. And that was all user error. These are very nice sticky vinyls. But I, you know, I was a little impatient and didn't make sure they were stuck down all the way before I did my polish. So, but it still looks really good. I didn't redo it. And we're going to go ahead and do this to the ring finger. Very nice. Very excited to do this one. And at the end of my video, I will have lots of pictures of um, these polishes and their warm form, cold form, and kind of everything in between. Um, I took several pictures because I wanted to be able to show you guys the color changing qualities of this one, or these two. And of course, you guys know I had to break out that orange wood stick. I flooded my cuticles hard. <laughs> I'm even having to break out the big end of the orange wood stick. That's okay, we're gonna get there. And there we go. And we're gonna pop in with our cleanup brush and do a little bit more cleanup. Round the edges, you know, I'm kind of a neat freak when it comes to that stuff. I'm not always perfect, but I do always make an effort to, you know, to do as much as I can. There we go. This one wasn't as bad as the other one, I don't think. And these look like they're trying to pull up a little bit, but they do end up laying back down a little with me doing my cleanup. Good stuff. 
I'm really bad about taking too much off back there on the back sometimes. Back by my cuticle. And here we go. We're going to finish this one off with some posh top coat. And I have added some thinner to my posh top coat. It was getting a little thick. Um, I heard somebody talking about another top coat. I won't mention any names. But they were talking about they didn't like it because it got thick. But in my experience, almost all top coats get thick at some point. HK Girl did it. Um, Girl in the Run's done it. Posh has done it. Sush Beat's done it. Just got to add thinner. And here we go. There's my final manicure. And here are the loads of photos I promised. But I do hope you really enjoyed this. I really thought it turned out pretty good, so pretty happy with it. Not perfect, but I'm not always perfect, but it's okay. Um, I have more of these to show you. Um, they will be coming soon. I promise to keep playing with them until I work my way through the ones I have found. I have heard from other people that these are very hard to find. I found mine at a Walmart, and they weren't with the regular polishes. They were about two or three aisles over hanging out of an end cap in some kind of little box contraption. So keep your eyes peeled, look for them, and um, hopefully you can find them. Grab you one or two and enjoy them. So that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below. I always love talking polish and manis. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.